ultra short pulse semiconductor mode locked laser on a chip are around for many years. What we are aiming for is a femtosecond laser on a microchip with a performance similar to a state-of-the-art tabletop laser system. Our special focus is to create a CMOS compatible a femtosecond laser with very low noise and being co-integratable with electronics and become as reliable as electronics is today. In that way, we can overcome some of the intrinsic properties of electronics like limited bandwidth and limited jitter. Once demonstrated, there are several silicon photonics platforms around worldwide where we can do the co-integration with electronics. This is very important for future markets. Complete optoelectronic systems like uh, fully controlled seed lasers or photonic analog to digital converters as well as frequency combs can then be fabricated. Femtochip will sustainably and fundamentally change design, price and size of femtosecond lasers across many industries. We are working on a CMOS compatible mode lock laser. This will produce ultra short pulses with high peak power within a footprint five orders of magnitude smaller than any equivalent system in existence today. The goal is to reach sub 100 femtosecond pulse width with several hundred watts of peak power to reach the desired timing jitter performance. To attain such a metric, we are working on a unique cavity design. It supports large signal mode area and integrated fast saturable absorber. This is fabricated in our partner's facility and tested in our labs at DAISY. My team and I are developing a novel ultra-fast amplifier to amplify the ultra-short pulses from the chip integrated mode lock laser. Only when linear and nonlinear effects are perfectly balanced can we amplify those ultra-short pulses without destroying their useful properties. So weak pulses enter through a waveguide into the amplifier into a section that is doped with rare earth ions. There we experience the optical gain. It's extremely important that the mode area is large such that we have a large optical gain. To achieve this large mode area, as well as low propagation loss, an interplay between experiments and computer simulations are needed. And these computer simulations we run on DAISY's high-performance computing cluster, Maxwell. Lagentech's main business is to fabricate low-loss silicon nitride photonic integrated circuits, both for industry and for research. In the FemtoChip project, Lagentech is developing a fabrication process for integrating all subparts into a CMOS compatible process. Uh, within the 400 nanometer platform, we are developing and characterizing different components, including spot size converters, max sender interferometers, and directional couplers. Our all nitride core technology is ideal for ramping up to higher volumes because we can take advantage of the semiconductor industry. Our preferred material is alumina oxide which is an excellent material in integrated photonics thanks to its wide transparency window. Its ability for the rare earth ends is excellent which allows the realization of active devices with optical gain in different wavelength range. For FemoChip project, reactive ratio frequency sputtered aluminum oxide doped to the psyllium is developed for realization of on-chip femosecond laser operating at two micrometer wavelength range. At Alto, we use a second technology to deposit and dope aluminum oxide, atomic layer deposition, or ALD. The unique layer by layer nature of ALD allows us to precisely engineer the material properties of the gain medium at the atomic scale. For femtochip, we want to apply these techniques to raise the material gain properties of thulium doped aluminum oxide, hopefully by several multiples. Additionally, we fabricate metal microheaters onto the photonic microchip to control the phase of the propagating light. In a group led by Professor Tobias Kippenberg, we are developing and fabricating the low-loss optical delay lines and the interleavers that will be integrated together with this model lock laser developed in DAISY. Using this interleaver, we can overcome the limit and increase the model lock laser repetition rate by more than two orders of magnitude. With EURA's expertise in technology and innovation, we focus on business innovation management within FemtoChip. As public relations manager, I also organize communication and dissemination in our project. We aim at creating cooperations with industry, bringing FemtoChip into future applications. With a comprehensive competence in integrated photonics of the FemtoChip consortium, we can design, fabricate, and test fully integrated femtosecond lasers. We focus on application-driven specifications that are in need of integrated devices. To utilize the femtochip goals, we use the lowest loss fabrication platform and the highest performing gain material. 
integrated photonics and especially silicon photonics is already happening now. But the future is to have it operate with femtoprecision. precision.